Story 25 Paul's Second Journey Paul and Silas in Jail This true story takes place in the city of Philippi in Greece and is about how the Church for Jesus followers in Philippi began. This story is about Paul and his helper Silas. They were traveling and telling people all about Jesus and the Gospel. Once, while they were going to the place for prayer, a servant girl met them. She had a special spirit in her. This was a spirit from the devil. It caused her to say that she had special knowledge. She earned a lot of money for her owners by pretending to know the future. This girl followed Paul and Silas. She said loudly, These men are servants of the Most High God. They are telling you how you can be saved. She kept this up for many days. This bothered Paul. So he turned and said to the spirit, By the power of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. Immediately, the spirit came out. The owners of the servant girl saw this. These men knew that now they could not use her to make money. So they grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them before the city rulers in the marketplace. Here, they brought Paul and Silas to the Roman rulers and said, These men are Jews and are making trouble in our city. They are teaching things that are not right for us as Romans to do. The crowd joined the attack against them. The Roman officers tore the clothes of Paul and Silas and had them beaten with rods again and again. After being severely beaten, Paul and Silas were thrown into jail. The jailer was ordered to guard them carefully. When he heard this order, he put them far inside the jail. He pinned down their feet between large blocks of wood. Paul and Silas had done nothing wrong. Sometimes bad things can happen to people, even when they're doing what is right. Instead of being sad and upset, Paul and Silas trusted God to make something good from what the people who had put them in jail had meant for bad. Paul and Silas could not change their circumstance, but they could choose how they would react. They chose not to be mad or bitter. They chose to rejoice, even in this difficult situation. They may not have been happy with their situation, but they chose to celebrate the joy of being saved by Jesus. They focused on their faith that God would take care of them. Paul and Silas were praying and singing songs to God. The other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a big earthquake. It was so strong that it shook the jail. Then all the doors of the jail broke open. All the prisoners were freed from their chains. The jailer woke up and saw that the jail doors were open. He thought that the prisoners had already escaped, so he got his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul shouted, Don't hurt yourself! We are all here! The jailer told someone to bring a light. Then he ran inside, shaking with fear. He fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them outside and said, Men, what must I do to be saved? They said to him, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and all the people in your house. So Paul and Silas told the message of the Lord to the jailer and all the people in his house. At that hour of the night, the jailer took Paul and Silas and washed their wounds. Then the jailer and all his people were baptized immediately. After this, the jailer took Paul and Silas home and gave them food. The jailer and his family were very happy because they now believed in God. The next morning, the Roman officers sent the police to tell the jailer, Let these men go free. The jailer said to Paul, The officers have sent an order to let you go free. You can leave now. Go in peace. But Paul said to the police, They beat us in public without a trial, even though we are Roman citizens. And they threw us in jail. Now they want to make us go away quietly? No! Let them come themselves and bring us out. The police told the Roman officers what Paul said. When the officers heard that Paul and Silas were Roman citizens, they were afraid. So they came and told Paul and Silas 
they were sorry. They took Paul and Silas out of jail and asked them to leave the city. So when they came out of the jail, they went to Lydia's house. There, they saw some of the believers and encouraged them. Then they left. What the people who put Paul and Silas in jail had meant for bad, God used for good. Paul and Silas were in jail even though they had done nothing wrong. But God used this situation to bring the gospel to the jailer and his family, and they became believers. This was the beginning of the church in the city of Philippi.